call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' everywhere. Booty, 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 rockin' everywhere. Booty, booty. YouTube here is as far as for some results from the NCCT and this was my results showing my passing score I had a 68 passing score had to be 70 and above and if you had 69 and lower you failed and these were the topics and stuff that you had to go through so in this video I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the tricks to passing the NCCT the main things that you need to focus on which is going to be focus on front office procedures um, EKG focus on biohazard signs pharmacology and also it's a purple MA book that can be able to help you out on passing this test so y'all stay tuned <music> did a video as far as for talking about how is the NCCT you guys will be able to see that video I'll leave it in the link below so I won't feel like I'm repeating myself every time with the videos but um, pretty much taking this test it was the passing rates are a little bit less for our school when I was at Fords College um I feel like the test was a lot more for office procedures um, it's a good test if you continue to take it multiple times I feel like you'll get used to the questions that are being seen um, I had took it twice my first time I got a 66 and my second time I got a 68 and of course the third time you need to make sure that you get at least a 70 or above and so I prepared some um, things that I feel like that could pretty much help people on passing the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is on how you need to focus on front office questions or scenarios because pretty much that's 80% of the test um, during your medical assistant schooling you need to make sure that you focus on those um, medical office questions because those are so major like when I tell you guys they are so as an MA student make sure that you pay attention in class on front office work such as co-payment EMR which is electronic medical records Make sure that you pay attention to patient care, which is one of the most important ones because they have a lot of scenarios on there where they'll be like, okay, a lady has hypertension. Um, select which one each will be the steps of helping her. And you have to pick like multiple answers. So say for instance, if you get that question wrong, that can already affect you on some of the outcome as far as for passing the test. Also, you want to make sure you focus on packages as far as for first class, fifth class, second class, male, all those type of things they have questions like that on there also um, appointment cancels they'll give you scenarios on that make sure you focus on booking as far as for booking a patient what type of wave booking would it be wave modified wave double booking wave that type of thing also like I said make sure you focus on medical records whether understanding if it's confidential um, and you also want to focus on um, explanation of benefits and also uh, I think it's called a sign hold on it's a um, it's explanation of benefits and it's another one it's um the EOB and then you have AOB so those two those are pretty much all tied in the medical office procedure question so you want to make sure you understand that the test those a lot of those at you so do make sure that you are aware of ours for that also EKG is also part of the text as well too I feel like that you should focus more on the photos than scenarios when it comes to EKG because they'll give you a um a picture to say for instance this and you have to, the question will be like which heartbeat is this and it'll show like either uh, arrhythmia heartbeat or is it like a, a heartbeat at rest what part would it be it'll also have like a diagram showing like the um, Q QRS wave or QTR wave all those type of waves they'll ask what does the P wave stands for what does the QRS you know all those type of waves they'll ask those and they'll have like mainly like photos when it comes to the EKG part um, you want to make sure that you understand the different types of rhythms when it comes to the heartbeat also the main question that is on there now this is an actual question that's on the NCCT it asks which leg is used for grounding and that will be the right leg make sure that you remember that question that which leg is used for grounding and that will be the right leg that will be on the test um, again, like I said, they'll have photos of EKG and you have to identify them. You also got to know the placement of the leads between V1 and V6. Um, you also need to know how to clean the EKG leads. That's a main, major question that's on there as well too. It's going to be like, what do you use to clean the EKG leads? And they'll have questions like, do you use 70% alcohol or sanitized wipes and stuff like that. And also ask questions on what would you do with a patient who has Parkinson's disease? How would you handle them when um, giving them an EKG? So make sure you pay attention to that. 
also they also have questions on biohazard signs now this kind of threw me off because like when you're in a classroom you'll remember those signs but then as we got on a test it was like oh my gosh what does this sign mean so they'll have like photos that'll show like the biohazard signs where there'll be like radiation sign or a deadly uh, chemical also a uh, sign to show that you know to rinse your eyes or you know you just want to make sure that you pay attention to those drawings and understand the meanings and its use on um, website that's websites that can help you out with that can either be YouTube or Quizlet I know those can help you out and also the King's uh, medical assistant book textbook that can help you out as well too because that has like pretty much all the information that you need last thing is you want to make sure that you pay attention to pharmacology i cannot express on how big this is if you don't know that much about medication make sure that you start getting yourself familiar with it because it, those will be questions that's on the test as far as pharmacology i feel like um you should know your medication because it don't just start off with the basics like tylenol or motrin it'd be medications that you ain't even like pretty much heard about and a lot of medications that i done got myself familiar with is pain medication so like lisinopril gabapentin tizanidine uh, psychobenzaprine morphine morphine it's like so many of them that i'll be like my mind delighted like you got to get yourself familiar with that and i feel like when you're in the field as far as for your externship that can help you out and get familiar with the medication are good on this topic or with pharmacology then it's probably easy for you to pass because pharmacology was something i kind of sucked at i didn't really do so good in that part so um definitely make sure that you uh, do good on pharmacology and also understand the equations because there are equations when it comes to pharmacology you have the Clark's rule the Frederick I think it's Frederick's rule where they do like say for instance what the doctor has ordered over what the doctor has on a hand and I'll tell you the dosage and stuff like that make sure you pay attention to that and also the last thing I feel like the purple book um, I will leave a picture of showing but it's a medical assistant exam book it's the Kaplan sixth edition that book helps you out with so much y'all with my last channel i was doing a lot of vlogs on um related medical assistant topics a lot of those i really did get from that book that can kind of like help me take notes on that and it pretty much help you out as far as for passing a test when taking it in the future um i pretty much that lets you know everything you need to know and plus they have quizzes on there so you can quiz yourself and of course the answers will be in the um, back of the book but make sure that you do check that out you can go to your local library and rent that book out to be honest and um it could be for free and then you basically have to bring it back within like a whole nother like two or three weeks whichever one is comfortable for you but definitely make sure you get into that book if you don't have the king's book make sure that you get that chaplain medical assistant exam book it's a purple a purple book so those are going to be the topics that can help you guys out as far as for passing the ncct um i feel like you if you failed the first time just keep retaking it till you get it the next time because like i said the test really isn't that hard you'll start getting familiar with some of the questions so do try and get yourself as far as for get with that Thank you.